From the beginning, the Metal Gear games have always delivered state-of-the-art audio as part of the gameplay experience. For the audio team at Kojima Productions, the expectations were set very high for Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. The game was expected to not only match previous efforts, but far exceed them. No one has been putting more pressure on the team than the team itself. There are many different aspects and layers to the audio featured in a video game. It's not just a matter of adding in music, voiceover, and sound effects. Each of these aspects has to be individually created and recorded first, and then seamlessly blended into a surround sound experience that plays out in real time. It really is a, a very visceral experience when you have the sound on it. Mr. Kojima worked very closely with Mr. Tojima in a lot of kind of ideas he had for a next generation game. And so you're going to see this with, with MGS4 that um, not only is it going to be a 5.1 you know, Dolby surround sound, but that we're doing a lot of different things that people haven't attempted before. PlayStation 3 is a new power hard. それにコジマプロダクションというのを掛け算すると大変なことになるんですね。でもあの新しいプラットフォームで最初のゲームなのにちょっと自分ではこれ以上のことが考えられないぐらいにですね、すごく複雑な仕様になってます。でまあブルー
Naomi was detained by the authorities, but someone arranged for her escape. I had to work with Chris and the producers on kind of developing the voice that they were looking for to match this newer, war-torn, post-apocalyptic, cyber ninja ride. You may be the hunter, but you are also the hunted. Kojima で、それから、え、軌道修正、ちょっとずれたりした時に直してくれる。その僕が迷子にならないようにちゃんと来てくださってそれでビジョンはこうですだからこんな風になりますっていうことを明確に僕に伝えてくれるんで非常に仕事がしやすいですねWhen the MGS4 project started and we started thinking about how we're going to approach a voiceover work uh, we had a, a pretty good outline of how we're going to approach it and we had a you know substantial size script but uh, we didn't really think it was going to take more than a few months. And so here I, I sit now, just wrapping up the ninth session after 10 months of working on and off with Chris and the team. We haven't sacrificed anything to make a high quality experience. Before it was all about the graphics and the gameplay. It's now slowly becoming about getting in the right actors and making sure it sounds good. <laughs> A big part of the sound design process for the Metal Gear games begins here in the Foley studio with a seemingly endless variety of items that range from the bizarre and obscure to products you'll find in almost any household. The Foley artist uses these instruments to represent what is seen on screen. Sometimes the most obvious choices work as seen here with different footwear representing the diverse footsteps for each character while other products become sound effects for items that are not so apparent. This is Snake. Do you read me? What happens if it's the first time the player hears it? This is Snake. Do you read me? <laughs> Excellent. Quality of the script and the length of the scripts um, are starting to feel a lot more like feature films. You know, years ago, doing a video game was just short choppy lines that involve the gameplay. But once these stories started evolving and these, these wonderful scripts like Metal Gear, you can really get some nice pieces of acting out of the actors. I think Chris tends to, uh, to ride these guys a little hard. She wants to make sure that she's getting everything out of these guys. Then again, she's known these guys for years and years. You can have your panic attack here, 172, and... Damn it! They got the Mark III! It's all over, Snake! Good. Not only volume, but you're heartbroken here. The characters, the, especially the soldiers, have different emotional states. And so we had to go through this process, Chris and I, of recording hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lines of dialogue that will come up depending on the emotional state of the soldier. And we're recording the same lines, but with these different, different emotional undertones. So that whole process, and it's very complex, because obviously we have to work very closely with the programmers to make sure that that comes out you know, at proper states. So, that process has been very tiring, and uh, but I think ultimately rewarding because you're not going to have a static performance every time you play the game.